Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit, create a simple custom report from the project, create reports and dashboards for sales and marketing managers. So here in this unit, we will be creating a summary report and that summary report will revolve around, around the concept that we are going to summarize the opportunity records based on the uh, sum of amount field on opportunity. So how we can do that, we'll simply just uh, see that in a while. But before that, we have some pre-work to do. First thing, we have to change some details or the settings in our user uh, detail page. So we'll be doing that in a while. Then we have to go to opportunity and we have to change the close date uh, for all the opportunity records. Uh, in order we get the records, correct data in our uh, report, custom report that we are going to create. So let's quickly launch our trailhead playground, which I've already done over here. Now here we have to, first of all, go to setup. And in setup, we have to select the user, uh, from by which we are logged in. So simply just open your setup and use it. Either you can go, uh, using the quick find here. You have to type user and selecting user. You, you will get the list of all the users present in your org. Or you can directly type the name over here of the user by which you are logged in. So I am logged in as a trailhead explanation. So I will go to trailhead explanations uh, detail page. Now here we have to edit the role of the user. So specifically, to be specific, we have to change the role uh, or to or we have to set the role to CEO, right? So let's uh, change that. So going back here and selecting this role uh, drop down select CEO, assign this and save the settings. Once that is done, go back to your app uh, startup page. Either you will land on sales app page or uh, you can be on playground uh, startup app page. That is fine. You simply have to go to app launcher and go to sales app. So how we can go uh, here. So click on app launcher again or and type sales and select the sales app so this will lead you to the sales app and all the tabs that are present inside that particular app uh, which is sales in our case so here we have to go to opportunities you will find this opportunity tab over here click on this and this will give you the list of uh, so as of now it is uh, it has opened the recently viewed but we have to uh, see the all opportunities so click on this opportunity uh, from the drop down and here you will find that there are 31 items here. And if I go back to our trailhead challenge, it also specify we have to update 31 items. So by what value we have to update it. So how we are going to, uh, let's just see that. Uh, so here you will find a global icon or this, uh, this checkbox just beside opportunity name. So selecting this, this will select the uh, all the records of opportunity, all the 31 records. And using this uh, functionality, we are going to bulk change the close date. So close date, if I'll just click on this first, uh, any of the records close date, we have to update it by today's close date. So today is a 2022. So select the year and the month is August and day is 17. Uh, 17 August. Select this and check this checkbox update 31 selected items. This will update the date by today's date, all the close date and click on apply. So as you can see, a uh, close date has been updated to today's date. Now click on save. That was the, this was the simple thing that was asked in our challenge that we have to change all the opportunities, uh, close date by today's date. So that we have done that. Now, if in case you do not see the checkboxes next to the opportunity, it may be because you have applied opportunity record type. So in that case, what you have to do, I will show you that also. So we have to go to filter and select opportunity record type where operator will be equal to value zero. So if in case you do not find these checkboxes against opportunity name, what you have to do is you have to go to this filter like icon, click on this. 
So uh, and click on add filter. Here you have to find opportunity record type from this uh, drop down list. I will not uh, be able to uh, show you the opportunity record type because in my org uh, opportunity record type is not uh, selected. So or not applied. So if in case you have applied opportunity record type, you will not be able to see these check boxes and using this uh, filter icon and going to add filter, you will find in the drop down opportunity record type. In that case, you have to uh, make that equal to zero. You have to do like this. So here you will select opportunity record type from this drop down equals to zero. That's you. That's all you have to do over here and click on done. This only applies if you are not able to see this checkbox thing. If you are able to see this checkbox thing, then it is fine. You have to simply just skip this step. Now, uh, next we have to go to our reports. We have done this. We have changed the uh, close date here by today's date. Now, next we have to uh, go to the summary report. So simply go to your reports tab here in the sales app itself. Click on this report tab and here we are going to create a new report. So click on this a new report button. And the type of report that we have to select is of opportunities. And then we are going to proceed with the details that is present over here. So let's quickly do that. So from here we have to select opportunity and select this opportunity option. Click on continue. This will open up the report builder for us. Here we are going to see one by one what we have to do and what fields we have to keep over here. So the first thing that we have to do as mentioned in the challenge is we have to uh, filter this report by using opportunity owner and we have to use group rows by, the, by this field. So let's do that. Going back here, you will find opportunity owner over here. And when you will click on this drop down icon, we have to select group rows by this field. So this will uh, group this whole report by the opportunity owner field. Click, uh, you have to just toggle this update review automatically. Toggle, click on this and it will update automatically this report. So as you can see, there are 20 records and all of these records are grouped by the opportunity owner. Now next we have to go to uh, this filter uh, pan and we have to uh, change the close date to current financial quarter. So let's do that. Going back here, go to filters and here we have to change close date to current financial quarter, which is already selected. As you can see here, current fiscal quarter, that is fine. We do not have to change anything over here. Then uh, next we have to change the opportunity status. As of now, it is selected as any. So we are going to change it to open as specified there. Click on apply button. So this will change the opportunity status. Next, we have nothing much to do over here. As you can see, the count of record has been decreased to 13. Uh, earlier it was 20. Now, next we have to remove all these fields from the report. So let's do that one by one. Owner role, fiscal period and age. So let's go to outline tab again. And we have to remove owner role, fiscal period, let it load, fiscal period, then age we have to remove. The next is uh, created date, next step lead source. Created date, next step lead source, and type is also we have to remove. So these are the fields that we are going to keep for our report. Then we have to summarize this report based on the amount field. So we are going to do that as well here. So just find the amount column. Next to it, you will find this drop down arrow. Click on this. And you have to go to summarize uh, label. Here you will find another drop down by some average max min. So if I click on sum, this will sum up all the amount. Uh, of all these 13 records. So let's just quickly do that, do that, do that and see what effect it is creating over here. Click on some button. And you will find that at the end that a sum of all these uh, amount values for each specific opportunity is coming up in the subtotal field. And it is also showing up in the total field. 
So that's all we had to do over here. Click on save and run. Here we have to specify the re uh, report name. So I will be copying the report name from here. Paste it in the report name text area. First remove this unique name and paste it here in the so unique name has been auto populated. Then we have to change the folder as well. But before that, uh, we have to place this description. And uh, okay, uh, report, unique name can be anything because they are not checking the unique name for this challenge. So that is fine. Uh, then report description, we are going to copy it and paste it in the description text area. Click on Okay, once one more thing that we have to change here is we have to change the folder global sales reports. This is the same uh, folder which we had created in our first unit of this particular project. So click on the select folder and select global sales report folder from here. Then click on select folder. That's all we had to do. Global sales report folder has been selected over here. We have given the label as well. Click on save button and we are good to go to check our challenge. Let it first load. Yeah, moving on to verify step to earn 100 points. Let's just uh, see whether we have successfully made all the changes as per this uh, unit. Let's just wait for it to give out the output. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit. Thank you, everyone.